Now it's time for Truth or Fake uh, with Catalina. Catalina, thanks uh, for joining us in the studio. Now you're looking into a video that claims that FARC rebels in Colombia are now using drones that can shoot bullets. I thought that they had calmed down somewhat in the last few years. Indeed, James, if this was true, if we believed everything we saw online, we'd see that we believe that FARC is using weaponized drones. This video on Facebook was seen more than 80,000 times on October 23rd. The post reads, uh, a ter FARC terrorist attack with a drone from the Yadi military base in Playa Rica. But let's take a closer look at this video. So this information was even shared by Colombian local news. As you can see here, Semana, they were speaking about the same drone in Playa Rica. But this drone was actually created by an American student called Austin Howitt in 2015. And you can see the original video of this drone in his YouTube page uh, from 2015 as well. And you can see it's the same drone that was on the Facebook page. Um, this became so viral at the time that there's many news about it. Um, he was actually, uh, he, uh, the video became so viral that a probe was launched by the Federal Aviation Administration that determined it was, an Ill it was illegal for an American citizen who isn't in the military to weaponize a drone like he did, and he actually was expelled from his university for joking around about killing people with drones. So it was a big deal at the time. OK, so basically, the, if, if you start digging, you can really find a, a very, very clear evidence that this was not now. It was not related to, to FARC, and it, was, it happened five years ago with a completely different context. It Amazing. Is, I want to interrupt because it is uh, related to FARC. This is where there's the grain of truth uh -huh. because Colombian authorities in the past have accused FARC of using weaponized weapon uh, drones. Mm -hmm. For example, in 2019, they found a stash of drones loaded with explosives in Tumaco. Uh, they said that it belonged to uh, less FARC members that rejected the peace proposal right. back then. So as you can see, uh, many times there's a grain of truth that gives them this little grain of credibility. Yes, makes to it these credible. Stories. And that's where people can really be convincingly be misled. Now, another story uh, you have for us, Catalina, here in France, fake news uh, surrounding the introduction of an electronic vote uh, for the upcoming elections. Tell us about that. Yes, Gabriel Attal, the French government spokesperson, had to go to Twitter to deny claims that the government would introduce the electronic vote for the upcoming elections in 2022. This originated from this tweet from Philippe Mourer. He says Attal announces that the government will implement electronic voting for the presidential election. He is an economist that works close to Marine Le Pen mm -hmm. uh, back in the day. But let's take a look to the video that he posted on Twitter. Je vous dis, c'est que, encore une fois, il y a un engagement dans le cadre de la campagne présidentielle, je crois que c'est attendu par beaucoup de Français, de permettre un vote électronique aux Français qui le souhaitent. And of course, that would, that, that would cause a lot of fear amongst those who, you know, whether there's any credibility or not, would, would claim that there could be election rigging, right? And this is all after the fallout of the US election. Exactly, with, a big rhetoric yeah. on the Trump rhetoric on election fraud. Right. But you can see there's this video from February. It's actually from a press conference where he was speaking about this, but it was about an amendment that they were discussing that was actually dropped. And here you can see the video. It's from uh, 17th of February, 2021. Right. But there's other politicians that went um, online to announce uh, this fraud as well, like Florian Philippot. He's an upcoming presidential candidate. And Gabriel Attal himself went to Twitter to say that this type of manipulation is indeed unacceptable. But as we said, this does look like a con comeback attempt of the Trump voter fraud rhetoric and elections haven't even started yet. And there's already fake news making rounds on social media, James. And even months after elections, uh, such as in the US, lots of uh, lots of um, truths and untruths and speculation. People claiming that Joe Biden is an in installed official. Tell us about that. 
Exactly. We will be discussing the presidential seal of the United States. Oh. Someone posted this on Facebook saying, why is the presidential seal blurred out? Hmm, Brandon is not president. As we know, Brandon is a derogatory uh, uh, nickname that is widely used to refer to President Biden. Um, other people went to Twitter, to Facebook as well to say, uh, why is the seal blurred? Are we now admitting he's a fraud and installed politician? But this is actually a federal law that started in the 1960s oh. that determines that the uh, the presidential seal should be blurred in non-official accounts. And we can see instances of this. As you can see, Joe Biden in his personal account, he blurs the presidential seal. Uh, so does Kamala Harris. Here's the seal being blurred on her Twitter post. But then if we go to the official accounts of the presidency, Vice President Kamala Harris, the presidential seal isn't blurred. So just okay. another manipulation online right. of truthfulness. Misrepresentation. James. Thanks uh, for that, Catalina. Thank you, James.